basic mission of semantic. Semantic is the study of the meaning of words and sentence. It uses the relation of linguistic from the from uh, to non-linguistic concept and mental receptions to explain how sentences are under, understood by native speaker. Uh, semantic can be broken down into the following three subcategories. The first is formal semantic. Formal semantic is the study of grammatical meaning in natural language. In other words, it's intent to define the meaning of words and press based on their grammatical structure. Conceptual semantic. Conceptual semantic is the study of word at their cure in focus on establishing universal definition for word before they are taken into the context. And the last one is lexical semantic. Lexical semantic is the study of word meaning. It establishes meaning to words based on their relationship to other words, its sentence, as well as their compositional structure. At its core, we thinking of the semantic as the magic that happen uh, the people communicate and most importantly, where, when they, they understand each other, this magic is actually a well-balanced combination of understanding of word and press, have, uh, have, having general knowledge and using real-world experience. Based on the distinction between the meaning of word and the meaning of sentence, we can re recognize two main divisions uh, in the study of semantic, like semantic and brutal semantic. Lex lexical semantic is the study of word meaning lexical verb are main verb or any verb other than auxiliary auxiliary verb the function of of this lexical verb to explain or show the main action uh, taken by the subject lexical verb do the require the persons of an auxiliary verb in a sentence in the sense that the, that they can stand alone in this contrast to auxiliary verb which is are only verbs that help explain lexical verb auxiliary verb cannot stand alone in a sentence okay the next is we move to hypononym and hypernym refers to relationship between a general terms and the more specific terms that fall under the category of the general term for example for the example, the colors red, red, green, blue, and yellow are hyponym. They fall under the general term of color, which is the hypernym. And the next is synonym. Synonym refers refers to words that are pronoun and spelled differently but contain the same meaning. For example, happy, joyful, and glad. Uh, the next is antonym. Antonym refers to the words that are related by having that opposite meanings to each other there are types of antonym graded antonym complementary antonym and relate relation antonym for example long short dead alive and the next is polysemy we can know that a word is polysemy when it has two or more related meanings in in this case the word takes one from but can be used to mean two different things in the in in the case of polysemy these two meaning must be written in the same way and done and do not be two completely uh, un, unrelated meanings of the word for example bright shining and bright intelligent most animal and most computer hardware and the next is prasal or semantics of prasal of semantic or compositional semantic is a study of press that sentence meaning the principle of compositional semantic deals how how we interpret press of sentence that have individual meaning in in the into large ones and the next is ambiguity uh, one of the aspect how meaning words in language is ambiguity a sentence is um, ambi ambiguous w when it has two more or possible meaning when sentence have double double mean when sentence uh, have double meanings they can be interpreted in two ways for example major does not can for her practice does not like it does not like care of it a major took the sick practice on a small two animal hospital small hospital for animals and hospital for small animals and the next is lexical ambiguity and structural 
ambiguity. A sentence is lexical ambiguous when when it can when it can have two or more possible meanings due to polysemies or words that have two or more related meaning. Example of lexical ambiguous sentence: Prostitutes appeal to the Pope. Uh, this sentence is ambiguous because the the word apple is a polysemist can can mean as for help or are attractive to. A sentence is a structurally example of structurally ambiguous sentence: Energy cow injures farmer with ox. In this sentence, the ambiguity arises from the fact that with ox can either refer to the farmer or to the ox ox of injury, injuring being carried out by the cow with acts. We are aware that two statements may be related in the such as way it, if it is true. The other must also be true as in the following. For example, of entelement, there are apple, apples in the fri fridge. There are fruit in the fridge and the, li the leader is too short each the roof. The leader is not long enough to reach the roof.